All right, y'all, right here we have a Mac Mini. This is the M4 version right here. I needed another Mac to be able to run some scripts and automations on, so I figured that I would pick one of these up, I can put it off to the corner, and just kind of let it run on its own. I've got an HDMI switch, so I can use the screen that I normally use for my other Mac Mini, which is the M1, I believe, and, uh, and I can just flip the button to be able to switch in between them. So this is it right here. Wow, this is so much smaller. The other one was probably like this big, my one that's right down here. Y'all can't see it. Uh, it's a good size bigger. This thing is small, wow. I remember actually back in 2007, I bought my first Mac and it was a Mac Mini and it was the one that had the CD drive right on the top of it. Old school there. Man, that's almost 20 years ago now. So uh, very excited to uh, get this thing up and running. This is going to be a nice little beast to have running. It's like a little server on the side, basically. Figured I'd do a little, this little unboxing of it with you guys. We can take a look at it. Another thing that I like about this one in particular compared to my other one is that it has some USB-C ports on the front right here. I plug a lot of like hard drives into it, and so it's nice to have that easy access. This right here, of course, is your uh, headphone jack right there. And then on the back, you get three more USB-C ports. The HDMI port, which I mentioned. I like to hook mine up via Ethernet as well, just to have that hard connection with it, and since I don't really move them that much. And then, of course, you have your power uh, cord right there. Uh, and then on the bottom here, this looks like the vent all the way around here. And you obviously have your power button right there. Let's see, going back to the size of it, this one is exactly 5 inches by five inches. I mean, you could literally just sit that on a shelf somewhere if you wanted to. Another thing that I like about Mac minis, honestly, Apple products in general, it's very easy to screen share to them or from them. One of the two. What I do is I have a MacBook Pro that I usually work on, and whenever I'm like away from the desk or I'm in the house and not in the office, I can easily access my Mac Minis by just simply doing a screen share that's built into all of the Apple products, and I can move, I can adjust things. And the greatest thing about it is that if I'm trying to upload something, like I keep a lot on my Mac Mini with a hard drive connected to it, a lot of video on there, and if I am going remote, like I'm on the road working, I tap into that Mac Mini and I can upload videos directly from that hard drive through the Mac Mini, which is connected hardwired. And I'm basically just using my computer, my laptop as like a screen uh, for an interface to be able to work on that Mac Mini. So I uh, absolutely love these things. Can't wait to get this thing powered up. Let's finish this unboxing right here. Taking out that. Taking out this, so this right here obviously is your uh, power cord. I always get confused. Apple does these weird roll-up things. There we go. So this right here is your cord, just a simple two-pronger right there, so nothing too fancy. As I mentioned, you, know, you can put it on a shelf, kind of get it out of the way. So you want a good long cord for that, and they have got, yeah, that's a solid six-foot cord right there, which is awesome. It's got that nice uh, flat braided style right there. So if you wanted to put it into like one of those cord keeper type of things to where you can kind of run it along the baseboards or something like that, you can do that. And uh, I've never had an issue with Mac Mini cords, honestly. They've always been top notch. Granted, you know, unlike a, a laptop, you don't move your cords, taking it with you, all that type of stuff. With the Mac Mini, it's pretty much just sitting there doing its thing and uh, you don't really have to worry about it. Is there anything else in here? Ooh, what's this? I think this is just the instructions, but again, Apple with these things like how to open it. Is it right? No, is it right here? See, I never know exactly how to open it. And it seems so st stupid. Like they got this pull up thing right here. And, oh, it's like a little sleeve. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but see how unintuitive, like why this? I don't understand that. It seems like it should be more of a book. All right, so you got your uh, quick start guide, all that good mess, telling you about all the ports and whatnot. And then you have, looks like a warranty information. And I mean, it's in a few different languages and whatnot. Is that it? Yep, that's it. If y'all are looking for a small little computer to run mainly, I mean, like I'm using it mainly as a server, 
if you want to use it as like an entertainment device, that's what I was using my first one for for a long time. Just through before Netflix and all that, I would just throw a ton of movies on here and then I'd just watch them directly from here. I could also play games and all that type of stuff, but... Yeah, if y'all are looking for an excellent small computer that's in the Apple environment, because you may have some other Apple products, y'all definitely go and grab y'all one of these uh, Mac Mini M4s right here. Thank y'all for watching. Let me know if this was helpful. If it was, consider adding this to your cart and dad out.